Weber. Thank you for the order. Let's start with the installation pre-inspection. What we need you to do with us is to count the rolls to make sure that we've got the right amount of stock. We're going to verify that it is the quoted thickness on the insulation material. And what we've done already is with the quotation, we have verified that the roof is safe, that the electrical connections are all secure, that there's no risk in installing the material. And then also let me introduce you, this is Pit. Pit is our senior supervisor for the day. He will manage the installation. Pit has been trained according to the TIASA um, certification in terms of, of installation requirements. TIASA again is the Thermal Insulation Association of Southern Africa. Um, also that protocol is available on our website um, and I've taken, you've received our email where we've referenced you to the CSIR fire certification on the product as well as all the SABS tests that was done on the product. What is very important also is to note that we are registered with the Workman's Compensation Commissioner. So if any of our guys should get hurt on site, they know exactly what to do. So the, the medical procedures and stuff will be covered. Um, so I think let's start looking at the material. Pete, what is important to, to note on the insulation, as we've discussed with uh, the quotation, each roll is a length of five meters and the rolls are 1.2 meters wide. So there's six square meters per bag. The rolls are also pre-slit in an 800 and a 400 length. Now the reason for that is because of the width in the roof trusses vary anything from 700 up until about 760 millimeters. So the 800 millimeters fits nice and snug between the roof rafters and then the two 400 millimeters again nice and tight against one another to, to give you that coverage of that um, roof rafter space. Also important, you'll note that the packaging is marked with the gauge and the thickness of the material. Um, and as we've discussed, all the, the test certificates are available on the web page. So let's start looking at the rolls. I think first of all, if we can just do a count together, two, four, six, eight, ten rolls. And that is the 60 square meters that we've quoted on today. Let's open up one package and verify the thickness. What is important with the product, as we discussed, this is a soft polyester fiber. Um, so there's no irritant, no itch to the product. It's basically the same as what you've got in your bedding material and your cushioning. During the process of producing the product, when we pre-slit, the edges of the material is cut with a crush cutting blade. So in essence what happens is it, it, at eight bars, it crushes the material and the edges fuse together. So when we're going to check the, side, the thickness of the product, we're just gently going to rub on the edges just to let the material open up. Otherwise it's going to seem like it's very thin. As we've discussed, there you can see the fusion line and we're just gently rubbing that up to open up the material to confirm that it is the right thickness. What you'll also notice is because of the roll that was compressed, within a period of 24 hours, this material will relax and open up completely. We've got these little thickness gauges and they should verify the thickness here, the 100 millimeters that we discussed with the quote. Mrs. Weber, as I discussed during the quotation, I'm going to bring with the graphs today just to again explain to you why the insulation is so effective. First of all, to start, just our testing on the product. The product has been tested by the CSIR, by the fire lab to make sure that it's a fire retardant product. And then it's also been tested by the Bureau of Standards um, to the roof insulation standard, SUNS 1381-1. Now, to start with the product, how this graph works, this is a house that we did a temperature log in March, which is sort of an average summer day. The red line, is the temperature at the top of the roof, knock. The blue line is the temperature at ceiling level. The green line is the ambient temperature outside. And then the black line, which is the important one, is the temperature inside the house. Now what you would notice, the scary part, is on an average day of about 30 to 32 degrees, the temperature in your roof space goes anything from 50 up to 60 degrees. So it's extremely hot at the top of your roof, on, this, on the top of the ceiling, and that's the heat that penetrates into the house, temperatures ranging from, um, from 40 degrees up into 50 degrees, those extremely hot temperatures that's trying to penetrate into your roof space. This house has already been insulated with our 100 millimeter product with a foil, 
So what you can see here very clearly, although you're sitting with these huge temperatures that's trying to get into the roof space, because of that foil layer that blocks and reflects that radiant heat, and the test that we've done with the SABS has shown that 93% of that radiant heat is reflected by the foil layer. 30 to 32 degrees outside, the actual temperature inside the house is only 28. So nice and cool, and we've blocked all that thermal heat. There were some of the houses that we've done um, in other parts of Pretoria, where the actual temperature inside the house without insulation logically was above ambient. And that's why we're saying by installing roof insulation, you'll find the temperature difference of anything between 6 and 8 degrees that your house will be cooler after the installation. And it's literally as the guys install that you can feel that temperature difference in the house as they move from room to room. These were two rainy days where it was very cold. And you can see the ambient temperatures here, 22 degrees. But look what has happened, interestingly enough, with the temperature inside the house. It has stayed nice and warm. So the insulation during the, the, the winter months, what it'll do, although you're sitting with colder temperatures outside, the roof temperatures itself has cooled down. But you now being able to, with that, that insulation barrier, maintain the heat inside the house without losing all that heat that you're generating into the roof space. So in winter, the house is nice and cozy and warm. And in summer, the house is nice and cool and, and comfortable to live in. As a summary, this graph just indicates to you very clearly the effect of the roof insulation. This is our baseline, which is the ambient temperature outside. Now, if you're looking at 20 degrees, they seem to be, you'll find that the, the top temperature of your roof is four degrees warmer. At the ceiling level, it's about three degrees warmer. And the ambient temperature in, uh, or the temperature inside the house is also about three degrees warmer than ambient. At about 26 degrees is where we find our, our, our baseline with the temperatures. There you can see zero degrees. So when it's 26 degrees outside, it's 26 degrees inside your house. But as soon as it gets warmer than 26, that's when the insulation starts doing its job. And you can see when the outside temperatures is at about 32 degrees, your inside temperatures is six degrees colder than your ambient temperature. And that's why in, in summer it's nice and cool. And then in winter, as soon as you start going below 20 degrees, your inside temperature actually starts going up because you're able to retain all that heat inside the house. Wonderful. So should we start installing? Thank you.